Video games are enormously complex projects that often end up markedly different from the original plan, as artists realise over the course of development what is and isn't possible. Compromises always have to be made for a variety of reasons, but sometimes we're really bummed about what gets left by the wayside. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 awesome video game features we can't believe got cancelled. Number 10. The Mantis Mask lets you read people's minds. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Twisted genius Hideo Kojima is one of the most left field creatives working in the games industry, so it's a little surprise he's been forced to leave countless ideas on the cutting room floor over the years. But there's one mechanic above all others whose deletion is painfully lamentable. While designing Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, Kojima originally plan to include a Mantis mask, based on the prior game's iconic boss, Psycho Mantis. The mask would allow users to read the minds of anyone in the vicinity, and per Kojima's typically inscrutable eye for detail, it goes without saying he would have allowed players to have a ton of fun with the mask, on both NPCs and bosses alike. The mask could reportedly be unlocked for a second playthrough and allow players to immediately see through Solid Snake's unconvincing alias, Iroquois Pliskin. It's genuinely surprising that Kojima never brought the Mantis Mask back for future MGS games, and while it could certainly slot easily enough into any future titles, especially if the rumours of a PS5 Metal Gear Solid remake are true, Kojima's acrimonious split from the publisher Konami sadly makes that prospect rather unlikely. Number 9. Boost Teammates Around the Map – Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019's Call of Duty Modern Warfare reboot gave the typical multiplayer suite a significant makeover, with its ambitious larger-scale battles supporting up to 64 players. But Infinity Ward ended up removing another facet of the multiplayer offering after it had already been in development builds of the game for a year – the ability to give your teammates a hand. Boost. The Buddy Boost feature allowed players to enter a squat position and launch teammates to higher ground, after which they could then pull you up. It's a fascinating idea which would certainly have added a unique flavour and extra incentive for collaboration between players. But as multiplayer design director Jeffrey Smith put it himself, it was badass if it worked, but it's really hard to get some random person to cooperate with you. You have to let somebody kind of climb up on you and get you up. Basically, he's saying that players are probably too selfish and single-minded for this to work often enough during anonymous online multiplayer matches, so they took it out. Even so, the fact that it was in the game for a year suggests it was a finished feature and it'd certainly be great to see it resurrected one day. Which is possible, if clearly not that probable. Number 8. Wall Running – Cyberpunk 2077 Love it or hate it, Cyberpunk 2077 is undeniably one of the most ambitious video games of the last decade, and despite spending almost 10 years in various stages of development, ended up hitting storefronts with many planned features cleaved away. Perhaps the most disappointing of these was Zeta Project Red's announcement last year that a planned wall running mechanic had been cut from the game. The ability was even featured in earlier gameplay footage, whereby players could traverse the walls with their mantis blades to hide in tricky spots and launch devastating attacks on enemies. According to level designer Max Spears, wall running was nixed for vague design reasons. And while at the time this news was merely a disappointment, in light of the game's clearly rushed, incomplete release, it likely speaks to the project's wider mismanagement issues. Though Cyberpunk 2077 will be patched into better shape in the future, there's virtually no chance a traversal mechanic this complex will be among the updates. Number 7. Create Your Own Bonfire – Dark Souls 3 Bonfires are one of the cornerstones of the Dark Souls series, serving as checkpoints for players to save their progress ahead of the next inevitably insurmountable hurdle. Their placement is integral to pacing and difficulty, but as discovered by a fan who played an alpha version of Dark Souls 3, it was originally set to include a game-changing feature where players could use enemy corpses to create their own bonfires. In effect, you could generate checkpoints wherever you wanted, with some caveats we can assume, that best suited your goals and playstyle, while cutting down on pesky, repetitive backtracking. While it absolutely would have proven divisive with more purist Dark Souls players, Bespoke Bonfires also had the potential to introduce an entirely new layer of strategy, with players having to figure out where to place their presumably limited number of bonfires. The feature was killed before the game came to retail, clearly, though some fans remain hopeful that the mechanic could be incorporated into From Software's upcoming action RPG, Elden Ring. 
Number 6. Six Star Wanted Level – Grand Theft Auto V Just as bonfires are a pivotal foundation of Dark Souls, the Wanted Star level system is an inextricable facet of Grand Theft Auto's loony sandbox gameplay. Bizarrely though, GTA V did away with the series' customary Six Star Wanted level, which in previous games saw the police basically going completely feral as they single-mindedly chased you down with no regard for collateral damage whatsoever. Fans immediately noted that GTA V's 5 star wanted level felt rather neutered compared to prior 6 star levels, given that the military are never activated and the police don't even attempt drive-bys on you. Awful. The year after the game's release, players dove into GTA V's code and found plans for a 6 star, though fans have had to rely on 6 star mods to enjoy an elevated level of aggression from the authorities. Rockstar have never offered up a reason for the feature's removal, though hopefully given the considerable fan outcry, it could be restored for the apparently upcoming GTA 6. Number 5. Shrink Link – The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a mind-boggling achievement in game design, each of its systems complementing one another so elegantly. Apart from what is one of my least favourite features in anything, weapon degradation. But shortly after the game's release, director Hidemaro Fujibayashi revealed concept art depicting a scrapped mechanic in which Link would visit a series of miniature towns with tiny citizens and could actually shrink himself down in order to explore them. Fujibayashi, who implemented a similar shrinking mechanic in The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, ultimately ditched the extremely intriguing idea because there was already so much game for players. He said, We thought it'd be super fun if we had all these tiny characters all over the place, but with all these other characters that stand out, we thought it would be difficult for these little guys to be able to live out their own place in the game. So we really wanted to have them in there for the gameplay, but sadly had to give up on the idea. With Fujibayashi returning to direct the in-development sequel though, there's every chance he'll hold on to the idea and do it justice this time around. Number 4. Scalping – Assassin's Creed 3 Assassin's Creed 3 was largely praised for its representation of Native American tribes, both by hiring a Mohawk cultural consultant and agreeing not to trademark names of value to the community. But the game originally also included an uglier aspect of America's cultural past – the practice of scalping, with players reportedly able to scalp Templars during combat. Reports from those who saw early gameplay footage of the scalping called it incredibly powerful as an action mechanic, though Ubisoft ultimately decided to nix the act for one of two suggested reasons, either because it wasn't historically accurate or it was too nauseatingly violent. There are, of course, nevertheless legions of players who would have found cathartic satisfaction in the feature, and while not a behaviour commonly practised by Mohawk Americans, it would at least cement the ferocious brutality of Americans' torrid past. Given that no Assassin's Creed game releases without at least a few controversies in its wake, it's tough to imagine Ubisoft ever bothering to reintroduce scalping, even if there'd certainly be an audience for it. Number 3. Visible Battle Damage – Super Smash Bros. Brawl Nintendo seems rather reluctant to introduce new mechanics to the Super Smash Bros. franchise, given the delicate balance of competitive play and how thoroughly everybody loathed the tripping mechanic in Brawl. But Brawl also almost included another, altogether less intrusive flourish, with combatants actually receiving visible battle damage over the course of a fight. Armor and weapons would become noticeably damaged as they were hit, Captain Falcon's helmet could become chipped, and Meta Knight's helmet cracked, to the extent that they could actually break and expose the player to additional damage. Ultimately, franchise director Masahiro Sakurai scrapped the idea, as he felt it would punish players who managed to hang in the fight for longer. One also suspects Nintendo probably wasn't too keen on showing the most kiddie-friendly characters like Pikachu with lasting injuries on their body. Even so, some sort of toggle feature for battle damage, possibly locked behind a parental advisory wall, would be a great compromise for those who'd love to see it. But Nintendo being Nintendo, there's very little chance this will ever see the light of day, unfortunately. Number 2. Shoot Your Own Handholds for Traversal – Uncharted 4 Naughty Dog are such engineering magicians that each of their games feels like it's exactly the game it was always intended to be. But of course, that isn't really true at all. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End was tinkered with extensively during production, and by far the most creative idea to hit the cutting room floor was allowing players to shoot holes in the environment, which could then be used as handholds for traversal. But the game's co-director Neil Druckmann added that the feature was cancelled at the prototyping stage due to difficulty implementing it into the wider experience. 
He explained, it just felt like it was hard to create the right language for that and make sure you always had ammo for those places. But as a prototype, it was a really fun mechanic. It's a shame because with the right execution, which Naughty Dog is surely capable of, this could be a game changer for exploration in games like Uncharted. Druckmann certainly isn't going anywhere though, so there's every possibility we'll see the mechanics show up in a future Uncharted or Last of Us game, or whatever the hell Naughty Dog is making next. Number 1. Drag and Revive Teammates – Battlefield 5 the original reveal trailer and marketing for Battlefield 5 confirmed a planned new mechanic for the series, where players could drag wounded teammates away from the heat of battle in order to safely revive them. Though EA and DICE later stated it would be added in a post-launch patch, a few months later they finally confirmed the feature had been cancelled outright. The reasoning? DICE's Jonas Elfing stated its inclusion would negatively impact the core gameplay loop, stating that complex and long animations would make reviving feel slow and unresponsive. And in turn affect the game's pacing. Considering it was a feature that many fans were looking forward to, because combat options are a nice thing, it's a shame that DICE clearly promised the feature before they thought about the practical implementation. It could definitely show up in a revised form for the apparently inbound Battlefield 6, but don't count on it. Let me know down in that comment section which awesome video game features you wish had not been cancelled. As always, I've been Jess from Mock Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter where I'm at JessMcDonald and make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more content.